This is a dish that goes particularly well with big chunks of bread or bowls of pasta or whatever you want. And it uses up a lot of courgettes when they're cheap. It takes about four medium courgettes. And I cut them in a particular way. And I'm making a fuss about how I cut, cut them because I want little pointy bits. So I cut them into four. So now I've got pointy bits there. And then I cut them like that. Now, the reason I want them pointy is because I'm going to toss them into a pan, which I'm going to turn on. I've put garlic in here, uh, oil in here already, and I'm trying to make them goldeny. I'm not cooking them through. I want the outside to be a bit crispy. That's all I'm aiming for, okay? Now that goes down like that. And I don't want mushy. I want really nice. Okay, so this is on quite high now. And you can hear it beginning to sizzle. I'm going to open my ricotta. And I'll be using the whole tub. But there is quite a lot of vegetable there. Well, I would use the whole tub, I'm going to get into it. They put these little tabs and there's no hope in hell you can pull on them. Just can't do it. Mm. It's very tough plastic, this one. Now, all of this meal is about adding texture. So we're not going to mix this in to make a sloppy mush. We're going to put blobs of it, okay? And that will help. And, and it's quite a big tray they're going into. I'm going to put some oil on the bottom of it as well. Can you hear it? It's quite a vicious noise it's making. Because it... It's basically begging me to turn it over. But I want it to have golden bits. Burnty, slightly burnty bits. I'm not trying to produce something soft and fondant. I'm trying to keep an interesting texture. Because if you cook them badly, these things are really boring. So, okay, that's over the base. Now these are from the garden, mint. But there's another form of mint. You can, you can use any mint you want. Approximately 20 leaves or so. As a general rule, and they already smell nice when you pull them off. I'm only going to roughly chop those. And I've roughly chopped my garlic. Can you see? Okay. Probably my favourite vegetarian dish, but we keep the heat really, really vicious. Can you see the size of that flame? It's the highest ring and it's got the most flame, and it, it's producing that very sharp noise, which is complaining. The other thing I'm adding is a little touch of this. It's, um, it's just chilli in oil. And I want to add, but it's quite strong, so I don't want to add too much, that sort of quantity. If you haven't got chilli in oil, and there's no reason why you should, just take some chilli powder and sprinkle that. Now, I'm not allowing it to produce any water in the pan. The heat is very intense and it's just helping it to be a brown colour. And you can see parts of it are starting to brown now. You 
because we're ending the, I'm not cooking it all the way through. So I'm now going to add my garlic. I'm going to give it a stir for a minute. Yes, the garlic's coming through now. Now's the moment to add that. And my mint leaves will go in. This is such a simple dish. They didn't brown up as much as they usually do with nice fresh ones they were this this time of year they are more watery but don't worry about it now what i'm going to do is to spread these out a bit okay they're hot i want them hot and nothing's mixed terribly well you've got more parts of the chili on one side everything is to do with creating difference in the mouth that's what texture is oh I want some pepper on there before I add anything else now I've just got to add blobs I'm not spreading it I just want the blobs why because I want some of it to go brown I want some of it to crisp up I want some of it to be unctuous I just want a mixture keep adding difference this is the secret really with them um, cooking this particular vegetable because it, it does go towards boring very easily it, it's a beautiful vegetable but you need to take into account that it will be very similar otherwise and I'm not adding very much to it. This is going to be the main central dish. So we're going to be having it with um, breads or potatoes, whatever. I think it's a delightful dish. And it, it is difficult to keep on finding interesting ways to cook your courgette if you're a gardener and you get loads of the damn thing. But the gaps between are as important as the blobs of the product on it. And you need to respect those gaps. All right. So there we are, there's another blob can go on there. So the blobs are very, very important. was pretty simple wasn't it now we put it into a hot oven mm, that's nice just slip it into the hot oven 175 centigrade and it's going in there for a full half hour which will give it time to produce that rather nice dish Well, it's been the 30 minutes, so we're taking it out, and now you can see why you have little blobs. You've got little, you've got texture. Okay, you've got little bits that are brown, even on the ricotta. You've got little bits around here. The smell is of everything. Now I take my little bit of lemon, which is an option on extra, but. I used the lemon peel so I'm just going to whoosh that over but not over all of it so again you've got difference you're breaking up the flavour in the mouth into different things and I'm just going to lift a little bit out for you so you can see what it's like they are tender but they've got little little brown crispy bits on this has formed an interesting little contrast it's a nice dish all right you can smell the mint, can't you, Paul? I can't. Yeah. They can't. 
<laughs> no, they can't. It's a shame, really, isn't it? It's not sophisticated enough, this movie thing. But it's good. Okay. All right.